Uh, Mr. Philip Arroyo. Thank you, Mr. Chairman uh, and members of, of the delegation. Buenas tardes. Good afternoon in Spanish. Um, my name is Philip Arroyo. I chair the Immigrants' Rights Task Force for the ACLU, the American Civil Liberties Union here in Central Florida. And I think uh, it would be appropriate to start what I'm about to say with a provision of the Declaration of Independence, 1776. Among the list of reasons uh, of us declaring independence from Great Britain was the following in regards to King George. He has endeavored to prevent the population of these states, the 13 states, for that purpose obstructing the laws of naturalization of foreigners, refusing to pass others to encourage their migration. This is a land of immigrants. The ACLU of Florida will be fighting to uh, defend and protect those rights, and we look forward to working along with our legislative leadership uh, to, number one, prevent any type of detainer policies in which local law enforcement uh, both in Orange County at the state level, um, are subjected to do the job of the feds. And um, that's, that's ICE's job. Um, I believe that we can start to legislate uh, in, in, in that regards to protect our immigrants in, in, in this great state of Florida, which, by the way, was discovered by an immigrant, Juan Ponce de Leon, who only spoke Spanish. <laughs> so um, I think it's uh, time to stand up um, for those principles on which this nation was founded. And I also want to uh, mention the importance of including Hispanics uh, in arrest statistics and crime statistics uh, because it's correlated with the immigration situation that we have. And last but not least, it's a huge victory for ACLU today who has advocated consistently for the release of political, uh, Puerto Rican political prisoner Oscar Lopez Rivera. And I'm excited to announce that President Obama just signed his commutation. He will be released. Um, he has been signed today. So Oscar. We're waiting for you in Puerto Rico. Uh, Rep Representative Smith has a brief follow-up question. Very brief. Um, thank you, Philip, and for the rest of those who were involved with uh, talking to Orange County government about tracking those statistics uh, for criminal offenders here in Orange County. I think that's really important. Congratulations on this, Victor. I've just heard this just now, so I applaud you on your efforts. Real quick, my question is, if DACA is repealed, as was promised by President-elect Trump uh, during the campaign season, uh, how, many, uh, how many residents in Orange County do you estimate would be impacted by the repeal of DACA, or how many in the state of Florida? Well, ACLU uh, in Central Florida and in, throughout the entire state is still compiling the exact number. Um, according to the 2016 statistics of deportations, around, uh, I believe, 2,000 were deported, mostly coming from El Salvador and Guatemala, surprisingly, Mexico coming third. Um, so I, I'd be more than happy to contact your office. I know I, I've contacted your office. Uh, your office has been very effective in reaching back immediately. So I'd be happy to, to provide that information um, through the ACLU Florida. Thank you, Philip. Yeah, Appreciate no your advocacy. Thank you, Mr. Royer.